Hello. Here we are. I am basically jumping in to do a revision um, of my old landscape region video, but I thought I might as well kind of do a small uh, sort of series related to landscapes in general. Um, some of the kind of confusing parts um, that the documentation has and kind of go through them. I'll be honest, I am not like super, super uh, clued up on all of them, especially when it involves maths or math, as the Americans say. But um, I have a bit of knowledge, more kind of experience, trial and error. So I thought I'd share some of that with you, um, starting with the very kind of basics um, of landscape stuff. And let's jump into it because there's nothing worse than a long intro. So first things first, I have made a new level, uh, which you can do. I'm sure you know how to do it, but you will go file new level, empty open world and you hit create and it creates you this. Um, from inside this, we are going to try to enter landscape mode. Um, in order to do that, you can come up to this little box here and you can click on landscape and it shows you on the side with a little tooltip uh, shift two. So I'm going to get used to using the hotkeys and hold shift and hit two. That takes you into landscape mode and you are greeted with this very bright grid kind of thing in front of you now you probably won't have what i just had in front of me you'll probably have this or something similar some settings blah 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 now for this video all i'm going to do is go through some of the settings from this point down to this point the things above I am going to deal with in another video. <clears throat> excuse my voice is a bit croaky. I have no excuse. It's just a bit croaky today. But yeah. Essentially, I'm going to break this all down into hopefully a easy to digest kind of visual aid. Um, so I think with this stuff, you can kind of, you know, guess what it is this is all transform based general stuff location rotation usually i don't think you're gonna really touch these ever during the landscape creation process but you probably will be dealing with the scale um, in this video we're not going to touch these settings but in a later video we will be um, but they are you know it's essentially what it says location rotation and scale of your landscape Moving forward, we have section size, sections per component, number of components, overall resolution, total components. Now, what I'm actually going to do to visualize these, to know what a section is, what a component is, blah, blah, blah. I am going to bring these all down to their lowest settings, which some of these are already on, but I'm going to do that. And then we are going to zoom right in on what it gives us. Oh, don't want to get lost out here in the abyss, but let's get ourselves a nice speed in our camera settings. Okay. So with our minimal settings, we are given this, which is probably the best way to kind of visualize what makes up a landscape. So. First of all, all 3D objects in the digital world, whether it's in a game engine like Unreal or a 3D modeling software like Blender, for example, or anything, uses um, what we call topology to make the object up. Topology is essentially 2D data uh, that kind of positioned to look 3d or to build up a 3d object um i would say go and learn about topology separately but for those that have knowledge of that um 
you already know what I'm talking about. But basically, um, some of the terminology within topology is um, you'll hear vertices or vertex, edges and quads. So a vertice or a vertex is essentially a dot or a single point. An edge is a line between two points. And then a quad is four edges connected to each other to make a square. So you can kind of see that, you know, we have squares here. But if I was to go to the Unreal documentation, they have kind of visualized it for us. So you can see here, you've got these dots and they are the vertex or the vertices which are connected via an edge and then four of these edges create a quad which is basically yeah a square um now go back into unreal <coughs> we have on here the number of quads in a single section uh sorry number of quads in a single landscape section so a section is going to be in this current kind of setup is this yellow line is a section and that is made up by seven quads by seven quads so if we were to count these one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven you can see that that is a seven by seven quad section, which is kind of what relates to this setting here. So that is essentially the kind of resolution um, of that section. And if we were to jump it up to 15 by 15, you can see that we now get a 15 by 15 quad section and so on and so forth. And you can start building this up higher and higher so if we go back down to seven by seven <clears throat> we're going to look at the section per component um, so if we read the tooltip number of sections in a single landscape component this along with the section size determines the size of each landscape component a component is the base unit of rendering and culling so we can kind of think of um, a section is kind of basically a component in a way um, so if we were to change this to two by two that's essentially doubling the amount of sections within a component so currently we have when we have this setting to one by one that is this outer yellow line <clears throat> that's essentially having it so that this uh, setting is contained within one of these so basically they are the same thing in a way um because let me just say let me just jump across to this setting which is number of components so if we just say two by two or two by one let's just go two yeah no two by two what is what this is saying is that we have um essentially we have four components but with a one by one section per component, we also have four sections, four components, four sections, two by two. Um, but that is only relevant to us when we have the sections per component set to one by one. Um, if I then go back down and show you what I mean, we have now got one component, uh, seven quads, by seven quads per component per section we change this to two by two which is the other setting um, we now have you can kind of see this center line denotes um, our section within a component so one component is now made up of two by two sections I'm hoping that that keeps you so if we were to count seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you can see that there's kind of like a slightly different thickness to this green line here, which is the center point. If 
because this one component is broken into two sections, two by two sections, each of those sections containing seven quads by seven quads. Okay, so now if I was to double the number of components, those lines become a bit cleaner, a bit clearer, sorry. So we now have two components, uh, two by two components. Each component is broke up, broken up into two by two sections. Each of those sections has seven by seven quads. Okay. That is essentially all you need to know about kind of how the landscapes are broken up into chunks or pieces or resolution or whatever. So with this, it gives us our overall resolution and the amount of components. Now this value is kind of the most important when it comes to um, kind of preparing your terrain, uh, your landscape and how you want, how well or efficient you want it to be. So this number, can't, you know, as these numbers increase, obviously this is going to increase. The higher this number, essentially the slower it is for your machine to deal with the uh, the amount of resolution. Uh, for components, you can kind of see that by this light green line, which we went for a minute ago, this entire um, landscape is broken up to um, two by two components, which gives us four. Okay, so you can kind of follow these back all the way to the quads or all the way from the quads up. And that's how you should sort of um, think of them. So, you know, you're all the way back down. You can sort of work it out as you move through it. Oops, two by two. Yeah, okay. So if we were to set this back to our base settings, we now have 64 components, which are, uh, it's a bit harder to kind of see, I guess, but you know, if we zoom right in, you can see that these quads, if we were to count from this edge to this, up to this green line, we would have 63 along this edge and then 63 along this edge, which makes up our section. We have one section per component. So this is essentially a component as well, because we're on the one by one, like I said before. If we were to do two by two, you can then see, you know, if I go to the corner again, you can now see that one component, which is this light green line, is broken up into two by two sections. So it's just doubling the resolution, um, essentially, in a different way. Um, so yeah, that is the basics of landscapes. Um, if you set this up and you are happy, you can click create. That will generate you your landscape. And there you go. You have it there. So the next one, next video, I will demonstrate uh, regions and we will see that and things will start to become a bit clearer and what what these are. You know, you can see that they're streaming proxies, but we'll go into that into the next video. Thank you very much. See you later.